Hey guys, welcome back. So, Leo Pato TV, you're watching right now. This is going to be a very cool video series, parts of videos, whatever it is. However, I'm going to break it down. You definitely want to stay tuned. You definitely want to subscribe. And thank you to all of those that have subscribed already. I appreciate it. The channel has grown. Anyways, guys, I'm building a 120, 120 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank for one of my clients. Okay, so let's work on the good stuff right here, the important stuff. We're building this 120 gallon tank right now. I picked up myself five pieces of glass, custom size, custom fit, exact measurements that I need. Um, again, we have the front panel and back panel, which is right here, the front and back of the aquarium. We've got two panels. It's 12 mil, half inch thick. We have the bottom panel, which is right here. Here are the sides, two by two pieces. Two feet by two feet, 24 inches by 24 inches, approximate. And again, the tank's gonna be measured uh, four feet by two feet when it's finished. We're gonna put an overflow box on the right-hand side. Um, on the back, uh, an acrylic overflow box, black one. We're gonna put an inch and a half drain. We're gonna put a one inch return. We're gonna set up all the plumbing. We're gonna build the sump, 30 gallon sump, probably three to four chambers. We're gonna use, uh, be using a DC return pump. Uh, most likely also be using a DC skimmer. Uh, we got to get a heater, wave maker. So we got a lot of stuff on our plate, lots of stuff to do. We got to actually build a stand as well. We're going to probably be building an oak stand. So guys, just stay tuned, Leo Potzel. Um, right now we're just getting started. Like I said, I just finished cleaning these guys all off, preparing all the glass, putting the tape on it, spacing it to the thickness that I need, which this space is approximately uh, almost three quarters of an inch, which leaves me a half inch for the other piece of glass that's going to rest on there, uh, that's going to butt up to there along with a little uh, about less than a quarter inch of uh, silicone gap on the inside of the tank. I want to show you all the tools and everything that I've been using here. So we got the acetone right here that I've been cleaning uh, the glass with, with some good old handy paper towel. Along with that we got a nice razor blade, fresh razor blade to clean off anything, cut the tape, all that jazz. We got an important, we got a square right here to make sure that the tank is nice and square. Um, what else do we have? We got a few of these uh, 90 degree uh, brackets that are going to allow me to put these into the corners of the aquarium, of the glass, and to hold it in place. Um, I had one more, I don't know where it went right now. It's right over here. So I got four of these 90 degree brackets that are adjustable. I got my little uh, pliers right here along with my caulking gun. Here's the caulking gun. We got uh, two tubes of clear silicone from Marineland right here. I got two tubes of this. Um, we got our good old uh, masking tape, painter's tape. This is called injection method, um, an injection method of an aquarium build. So if you want to know how to build an aquarium injection method, this is the video and what you guys want to watch, to be honest with you, because that's what I'm going to be doing. And I want to show you guys all the tips and tricks along the way. There's not really too much information out there. I've done this a few times. I'm very confident in how it works and how to do it. And I've learned a lot of things along the way and I want to share them with you guys. So like I said, go ahead and subscribe. We're looking at these five pieces of glass, glass panels right here, 12 millimeter, which is half inch thick and they're all custom fit to size. And we're gonna be building this 120 gallon rimless reef tank. Stay tuned guys, I'm gonna bring you guys along the way. All right guys, you can see I got the four panels installed. I have the one last one to install here on the left hand side, which is that piece right there. So far it's looking pretty good. You can see the uh, gap here that I'm leaving for the silicone, which is approximately a toothpick thickness consistently all the way through. I still got to work on the gapping. I just trying to hold this thing together for now, just to kind of get it in place, uh, just locked in place for now. And then I can worry about the thickness gap for the silicone. Um, just wanted to point out along with that, that uh, as you're handling each piece of glass, putting it in, location here uh, you might want to get your uh, paint or not paint thinner but uh, acetone glass cleaner with your paper towel 
and uh, just wipe down these edges again you know what I mean because this is where the silicone is going to be being applied bottom top the thickness of it up and down just wanted to make sure that it is 100% clean before we put the silicone in so there are no excuses no oils from our hands from handling the glass so let me get started or finishing up on installing this last piece here all right I just got that last panel glass panel installed over here on the left side of the tank um, I took my time and squared off the tank and made the gap the desired gap that I want which is uh, about less than an eighth which is the toothpick gap right here all the way down uh, over here I left the gap the same gap I left in here everywhere same amount of gap I left everywhere you can see same thing over here put the toothpick in You know we get it every week, you know that we don't play, and what I do it ain't no secret, you know that we don't play, I keep it hundred as I leak it, you know that we don't play, yeah I'm on my way and I'm here to stay. Okay guys, so remember I was telling you about the silicone trick for siliconing the 120 gallon tank with the injection method um, to build the aquarium. So a little trick here that I've noticed throughout my uh, trial and errors of building this injection method uh, build of an aquarium, um, this is what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna pop off the that cap. Next thing, I'm gonna give this uh, tube a little cut on an angle, call it maybe a 22 degree angle, 22 and a half for an example. I think that looks pretty good you can see it's on a slight angle there so if you look at it it's pretty circular obviously because this tube is made like a circle but what I'm going to do here is get my pliers and I'm going to pinch the end of this like so so it comes out much more narrow see how I just made that tip there's a side view of it, there's a straight on view of it. It's much more narrow. So that's gonna help me with the gap that I have to squeeze it in there and not waste so much silicone coming out through the sides as I need it to be directly injected to the gap. So I noticed when it was more circular and I didn't crimp it, it was lots of excess silicone that was just being wasted. Now with this method being crimped, it literally goes inside that gap perfectly and then from there we'll be able to smooth it out and uh, that's it, work on the next seam. So that's done, razor blade, silicone caulking done, um, got my little pliers, I'm ready to go, the 120 is all. Uh, assembled it's all square it all has the proper gaps all the panels are aligned all clamped in Let's take a look at it right here so there it is you know we get it every week you know that we don't play and what I do it ain't no secret you know that we don't play other than that I'm ready to rock Stay tuned. Hopefully you guys can learn something along the way. Leo Pazzo TV, you know what it is. We're building the 125 or the 120, 48 inches by 24 inches reef tank. Full blown. Uh, we got a stand to build, sump to build, all the equipment to order. First things first, let's get working on this tank. They wanna hear me. They wanna hear me.